Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and in the previous videos we started with a report creation and in that wherever possible we will use the new syntaxes. Now as a part of that we took the input, we have written the open SQL queries by using the new features of open SQL. And in the last video, I told you, yes, we have the matenars are duplicate. So we made a copy. We deleted the adjacent duplicates and we are using that internal table to fetch the data from MAKT table. Now what I will do, now we have three internal tables. LTVBAK, LTVBAP and LT underscore MAKT. Now we need to merge these three internal tables into one common internal table because you all know whenever we will go for ALV grid display or list display function module, I will pass that common internal table which has the data from all the three tables combined data. So we will see how I can combine these three internal tables into one internal table. So firstly, what I will do, I will put a loop on the first internal table. I will just go for putting the loop onto first internal table. I will go for loop at. What is our first internal table? LT underscore VPAK. Now I will put it to work area. Previously, you are explicitly declaring the work area. Now here itself, we will declare the work area using the inline data declaration. So I will write into data and I will write LWA underscore data. Many times people are asking rather than VBAK, can we put a loop on VBAP? I will cover that part also. Anyways, it is fully, fully explained in so many playlists. But here also we will cover that part because that is so many questions are coming based upon that. Now we put a loop onto the first internal table. Now the next question. This second internal table will go for loop or second internal table will go for read table. Firstly, anyways, we will replace read table with table expression. But the first thing, the second internal table will go for loop or will go for read table. So what I will do, I will show you that data. Because based upon data only, you can decide, yes, we have a single record or we have multiple records. Suppose I will go for VBAK table. Now, suppose I am giving the input. Our input is date. And you can see based upon that input, we have these sales orders. Suppose I will go for VBAP now, corresponding VBAP data. Now, the relationship between VBAK and VBAP is one is too many. Suppose if I will put this VBELN, control Y, scroll, control C. Now I will do control V. Now you can see when we put this sales order, we got this much data. Now just see, suppose rather than loop, suppose if I will go for read table, then what will happen? For 71, we have 171. Done. Okay, read table will read the first matching record. 72, 72 done. 73, 73 done. 74, 74 done. Now 75. For 75, have you seen we have two records? So if you will go for read table on VBAP, system will read this record. But what about this record? It will not come in the output and it is a data loss. Suppose if I will go for 76, if you will go for read table, it will read this. 
but it will not read this because the read table always read the first matching record. So second corresponding record will not read. And just think as of now, we have only two, two line item numbers in real project. In one sales order, sometimes we have 40, 50 line items, 100 line items. Yes, just think anyways, 99 is the, is the limit. So in that case, what you will do at that point of time, if you will go for read table. So second internal table compulsory, it should be loop compulsory because for one sales order, we have multiple records in the BBAP table, multiple line items. And yes, we all know that whenever you are going for nested loops, we need to improve the performance using parallel cursor. If you do not have knowledge of parallel cursor, you can refer the ABAP programming part two playlist. And at that time, yes, it is fully explained that how you can improve the performance using parallel cursor. But in some scenarios, you cannot avoid nested loops. Just in this case, I explained, we cannot avoid nested loops. So, but we can improve the performance using parallel cursor. Now, I will put a loop onto second internal table. Now, many times people are asking, can we put a loop on VBAP and read VBAK? I will come on to that part also. As of now, I am going for it this way. Suppose I am putting a loop onto LT underscore VBAP. Now, we will not explicitly declare the work area. We will go for inline data declaration. Suppose here, I will go for LWA VBAK so that it will be easy to understand. Here, I will go for inline data declaration. Now, I will go for where. Now, what is common between both of them? Where VB ELM is equal to first work area VB ELM. Now, for every loop, there is a end loop. So we have two loops. In this scenario, we cannot avoid the loop. So we have to go for nested loops. But yes, parallel cursor compulsory we need to use because project's data is very big. So at that time, you need to use the parallel cursor. Now we will come on to third internal table. What is our third internal table? LT underscore MAKT. Now we will see it will go for read or it will go for loop. Just see these matinar will act as a input for MAKT table. Suppose if I will go for MAKT table. Now I will go for display. I will go for contents. You all know we deleted the address and duplicate. So now we have which material number 42. We have which material number 492. We have which material number 134. I will go for execute. I will go for OK. You can see if you are only passing the material number, we are getting duplicate records. We are getting duplicate records for this material number. OK, one record. But now if you will go for read table, system will read this, system will not read this, system will read this, system will not read this. But just see in the query, how you have written the query, we are passing the system language also. Along with the material number, we are passing the language also. But if the language is there, suppose as of now language is English because I logged in into English. Are we getting a single matching record? Yes, we are getting a single matching record. Just see 42 English, 134 English, 492 English. So can I blindly go for read table? Yes, I can blindly, blindly go for read table because we have single matching record. If you are not going for language, then in that case, yes, you need to go for loop. But we have a provision why we should go for loop because our target is 
if we can avoid the nested loops, we should avoid. But if we cannot avoid, then we need to use the parallel cursor. Now, this third internal table, we can go for read. But now we are going for SAP ABAP new syntaxes. And we already covered rather than read table, you need to use what? You need to use table expression. So now I will use the table expression. So how I will use the table expression? I will go for firstly inline data declaration. Now, what is your suppose my third work area is LWA underscore suppose MAKT. Now we will go for simply, simply table expression. What is your internal table? LT underscore MAKT. You all know we need to put scare brackets. We need to put scare bracket. And in between this, we can give the key also. We can give the index also. As of now, we have the key. So what is the key? Matenar is equal to LWA underscore VBAP Matenar. So this is the way how we are working based upon the new syntaxes. We have not read the, we have not written the read table. We have just used the table expression. Now, if I will check the syntax and now I will activate up to this level. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we are working on how we can combine the data of three internal table. So firstly, I put a loop on LT underscore VBAK and we used inline data declaration. Then I put a loop on to second internal table and I fully explained why, why we are going for loop because for one sales order, we have multiple records in VBAP. So you cannot go for read table. Read table will result into data loss. Now, third internal table, compulsory, we can go for read table. It's wish because we are passing the language also. We are passing the material number also. We will get a single matching record. Now, you all know based upon the new syntaxes, we have to go for table expression rather than read table. So, I simply put the inline data declaration. This is the internal table. It will read this internal table based upon matenar of this particular work area. Just rather than read table, we are using the table expression. Now, in the next video, we will use line exists. You all know because in table expression, we do not have a provision of size subpar C. Then we will see how, how we will use value expression and we will merge the data of these three internal tables. So that's it in this video. Thank you.